There's a quote in that story where your son is about to go off into this crowd of students. And he has the experience that I had when I went off to college and I think probably is so common, which is you look around at everybody and you go, oh no, they're all better than me. Mm -hmm. They all have it more figured out. And you say to him, don't judge your insides by someone else's outsides. That's right. Where did that quote come from? That quote actually is a, is a, um, a quote I learned in, in the fellowship of AA. Oh, really? And that's been one of my favorite ones. I found it deeply profound when somebody said it to me because I find it to be so true. It was applicable for my son showing up at the Chapel of Duke for his first day of school and looking around at the best and the brightest and going, how the hell did I get in here? To me showing up on a, on a set with working with maybe one of my heroes and going, oh my God, you know, what, whatever. We all have that in our, in our lives. There's these great lines that I drew through both books and, and into looking at your career of you talking about Chris Farley and how you discovered that the pretty boy and the fat boy had a lot in common. Chris was a really good actor. Um, he loved being fat and funny and he was great at it and we loved him for it. But, you know, I, I saw Chris struggle with, with people just wanting to, him to be that dopey, obnoxious, loud, frat boy thing, and he was more than that. And what I have learned over the years is like, why, when I was a teenager and just getting well known, and, and would get stopped on the street, and girls would scream, and by the way, when I tell these stories to my kids, they all think it's bullshit. They're like, that didn't happen to you, Dad. I'm like, ah, it did. Um, but like, why, what about that felt, it should have felt great and part of it did, but there was always something underneath it that felt, Ugh. and why? That's crazy talk. Who doesn't want that? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Some of it's being a fan, some of it's appreciating the work, but a lot of it is just flat out, old fashioned, objectifying of someone. Right, right. It could be anyone. And by the way, that's why it isn't me today. It's somebody else. And that's why every year it's somebody else. Right. It's just... Somebody has got to be standing in that spotlight. Yeah. But once they're in it, it almost isn't about anything about them. It's always about the person who's doing the objectifying. Right, right. And it speaks a little bit to human nature. We don't know what, what's going on underneath the other person. We have no way of knowing that. So for us to compare our insides to their outsides, which is all we can see, is, is a folly.